Hello guys, this is Mike from Programming.org. In the last tutorial for Python, we learned about creating variables and assigning them and what they mean and how to name them and all that. Well now what we can do is we can create a variable name and take in input from the user who's using your program and store that value into a variable. Alright, so for this example what we're going to do is I'm going to ask the user what their name is and then I'm gonna store that value that they type in into the name variable name okay so we're gonna create the variable name and I'll just call it name and we're going to have that equal the function and what a function will do is it'll do a little small task for us and in this case it's called the input function and we type input and then in these uh, parentheses right here is its parameters or arguments and if you hear people talking parameters and arguments mean the same thing so you can use them interchangeably don't let that confuse you alright and we're going to pass in a string into this input right here alright so you can start it with either single quotes or double quotes in Python a string can be represented both ways alright so we want to have the user enter their name so a good uh, prompt would be just enter your name enter your name and we'll put a colon right there in a couple spaces because once we print this out um, you'll be able to type your name right next to it there are ways of making it to where you can write it on the on another line but we'll get to that when I talk more about strings so right now we're just gonna be simple and when I hit enter what's gonna happen is enter your name will be printed on the line below and then it will give you uh, opportunity to type in something and whatever is typed in will go into this input function and this input function returns to this little section of the code right here the value you put in which gets assigned to name so if we hit enter now we can type in our name I'll say Mike okay so right now name is holding this value Mike and to prove that all we have to do is called the print function and in its parameters we just can pass in a value so name and hit enter and Mike so there you go that is how you get input from the user and you can use this for numbers as well so I challenge you to just mess around with the code and see what you can do with it and what you can't and please join me in the next tutorial and we will start getting into strings Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe below.